Today we're going to check out how to inflate text like this. And I'm also going to show you how to create stickers and decorate the inflated text with it. I'm going to go with this custom typography as a reference. You also can check out the process how I made this on my Patreon page, link in the description. All right, so first I'm going to inflate this real quick. I'm going to select it. I'm also going to recolor it. And from here, we're going to go to the 3DM materials, click on inflate, it decrease the depth to zero and make sure to check inflate both sides. Now let's go to X, Y, Z rotation. I'm going to go to the X and I'm going to go with 35. A Y is going to be minus 25 and the Z is going to be three. Increase the perspective all the way up. Now I'm going to go to the materials and I'm going to go all the way down to the roughness and decrease it to 0 0.21. And the metallic, I'm going to go with 0 0.12. Now I'm going to go to the lighting. And here I'm going to set the light one intensity. I'm going to go with 40. A rotation is going to be minus 90. Height 25. And let's activate the shadows. Now let's go and click on the plus to add another light source. And here I'm going to go to the height. I'm going to add 35. So this is how it's going to look. And from here we're going to go and create the stickers. So I'm going to go with the slope as a reference and the main point is to add some stroke, some stroke with light color that basically going to make the logo pop and it's going to highlight it better on the 3D object. So I'm going to select it, let's go to the object, let's go to path and select offset path. And let's increase the offset. I'm also going to go to the joints, select the round and I'm thinking to go with like seven. Click OK. So as you can see, if I select it, it is going to make this thick version and I'm going to go to the pathfinder, click on unite. And I'm also going to recolor the fill. I'm also going to select it, right click, arrange, bring to front. So this way I'm going to go and remove the unnecessary parts. I'm going to select the direct selection tool. I'm going to select one of these anchor points and I'm going to press on delete, delete. And I'm going to repeat this step with these guys and these small holes. I think I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to select it. And as you can see, they are grouped. And I'm going to right click on group. Now let's select the stop one, right click on it. Let's go to arrange and select send to back. Now let's select the full logo, right click and click on group. Now from here, we're going to need to import these stickers into the 3D materials. So let's go to the 3D materials. And basically all you need to do is just drag it and drop it right here into the 3D materials. And as you can see, it automatically is going to jump into the materials and then you can find a new sticker right here. I'm going to repeat the same step with the rest of the stickers as well. Just drag and drop and there you go. Now let's go back to the 3D text. I'm going to select it and all you need to do is just go to the 3D materials, click on the sticker and as you can see it is going to appear here. For example, I'm going to arrange it right here. You also can scale it from the circle and now I'm going to go and add another one. For example, I'm going to select this and it's going to place it automatically and you can arrange it in the same way as the other one. You also can rotate it when you're going to see this arrow. And for example, if you want to select one of these stickers, all you need to do is go here to the properties and select the sticker that you like. For example, this one, and you can rearrange it and customize it however you like. And I'll at least activate the ray tracing. If you want to increase the resolution of your 3D, I'm going to leave a link in the description with the tutorial as well. And this was it for today. Thanks for watching.